Hey, welcome to Tech Tips with Heather. Now, today I am going to be showing you how to get a movie player working on a Linux machine. Now, some people, when they're deciding whether they should switch from Windows 10 to a Linux, are, are concerned that they won't be able to do what they can do on a Windows 10. That's not true. You can do just about everything you can do on a Windows 10 on a Linux. It actually surprisingly works faster. So, um, today I'm going to be showing that with the movie player. So, Linux comes with two pre-installed movie players. One is called VLC Media Player and the other is called Media Player. So with VLC Media Player, it flickers really bad. I recorded this from off of a Windows machine and you can see the flickering, the really nasty flickering. Sometimes it's white flickering and sometimes it's black flickering, like depending on whichever movie. And after a while of this, it just gets really annoying to watch a movie. So. So, after trying it with VLC, which we used to use all the time on Windows 10 because it's the only thing that would work. But then we had the second option of Media Player, which I'll open up here. So, um, after you pop in your DVD, it shows up right here after a couple seconds, and then you just click once on it, like this, and then you right click it and up, hover over Open With and go to which media player you want to use. So, go to Media Player. And so, we were like, okay, we'll just do another one, so we'll use that, except for the small problem that you can't click play. You can't click language selection, scene selection, special feature. Now, some movies, you can, but with other, that's very iffy. So, there are some workarounds on that with some movies, like down here at the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, there's a skip ahead, which will bring you to the next chapter on movies if it works. Or you, could, you can go to the top left hand corner to go and go to chapter menu or next chapter slash movie. And if you go if you go to chapter menu, then it brings you here. And with some movies you can click on which we want. And with and with most other movies you can't. And even with the movies you can, it's kind of iffy whether or not you'll be able to. So so after that happened, I did some digging around in the software manager to find some to find some other media players. So first I installed the MPV media player, right here it is, and it wasn't it wasn't too bad. It plays movies good and stuff. Um, the only thing is is that I had to figure out how to get it to play. So to do that is you go to your movie here, you double click, which will open it up kind of like if it's a folder, like this. Then you then you drag the folder in there, and you drag it over to there, and you can exit out of that enlarge it and you can play and to make it full screen you can click this little button right here and it will full screen it and do the same thing to shrink it so and then so I got looking to some other ones and I found KM player right here I'm just gonna click show you that so I'll open that and it's pretty much the same thing, except a little more confusing. No, so you got to click on open in the top left-hand corner of your screen, right there. And then it brings you to here. And then along the left-hand side of this little window, you got to go to which whatever your movie is titled. Mine's titled Ice H3. So you click that, and that'll bring you here. And then you click that and open. Then, wait a second, to load. Then it brings you here, which is all the video files. Then you got to select them all and open and then your movie plays but the only thing is though is that it has subtitles on it that i have not yet figured out how to turn off i don't use subtitles so then i went to find another one another video player that works so then i came up with this video one so to play the video one right here videos then you gotta click on your i on your movie. Mine's Ice Age. And then right click on it and open with videos. And then it opens it up, and then you can watch your movie. And to full screen, there's this button here in the top right hand corner of the window that you click to enlarge it, and you do the same thing to shrink it again. And from here, you can select your whichever option you want to select, and it works. 
that was a lot better than some of the other ones that I, that I saw. But then I wanted to look around some more, so then I came, I found one that was actually really awesome that I found. And it's SM Player, so you just go to your SM Player, you just double click on that, and it opens up in here. Then you go to the top left hand corner of the screen, click open, then hover over disk, and then click on DVD from drive. And that will open up your movie, and then you can play it. The only thing is, is that it has subtitles. They're automatically turned on, but you can turn them off. You go to the top left hand side of the screen, at the very top, well it's more towards the center, and there's this thing that says subtitle. You click that, and then you just click none, and it turns off the subtitles. And then you can watch your movie without subtitles. See the talking and stuff, and no subtitles. So, um, to enlarge it, at the bottom right hand corner of the screen, there's this little uh, red square, cornered white square. So you just click that, and then a full screen, and you do the same thing to shrink your screen. So, just like that. And now, at this point, you're probably wondering where do I get these from? Well, you don't have to go online to find them. Not at all. You just go to your software manager. So you go to your menu and then you go up and just below Mozilla Firefox there, you see this folder and it says software manager in the bottom right hand corner of the start menu. There it says it. So you just want to click that. You enter in your password. Enter in your password. It, it just takes a second to load. Um, you do need internet connection to be able to download, you know, to install things off of it, but you're not going directly onto the internet. This is stuff that, these are applications and programs that Linux has provided for you, so just got to give it a second. All right, here we go. So there's a whole bunch of different packages and stuff that you can install for different things, but right now we're going to go to the sound and video, which is right here which is right here. So I'll just click on that. And it brings you to here. So here you can you can read a little a small description about each one and you can see the titles and stuff and you can see the review like it shows the reviews with stars, how many stars out of 5 and stuff. You can also search for what if you're looking for a specific one, right here you can search, just type in the title and, and hit enter and you can search it. So I'll show you some of the reviews. You just double click on it and it will bring you to here and where mine says remove right now because it's already installed, you would hit, it would say install and you'd hit install and then it would install and it, it actually goes really fast to install. So, um, and here you can see what people say about it, if they've had issues or problems with it and, and, or if they have fixes to it, if there is problems. So it's pretty nice to be able to see all the reviews. So we'll just go back to our page there. So you just click on the sound and video tab there and it brings you back to here. So they've got a lot of different options for sound and, and video. Like you've got like Amarok, Minitube, Banshee, Sound Converter, OpenShot, Rhythmbox, Radio Tray, Cheese, Audacity, an Audacious Key, 3B, you'll see so on and so forth the, like there's a lot of them so this includes um, CD burning uh, programs and stuff too as well so it's pretty awesome so that's where you can find it um, now out of all these media players I've installed so far I personally like them player videos and MPV media player those three are my favorite ones um, I do really like VLC Media Player, but it doesn't work on some computers, so that kind of changed my opinion a little bit. It does, it works on mine, but if I'm I'm doing this, I'm writing this for if you do have issues with it. So, well, with SM Player, you can be like if you're at work and your boss is really stressing you out about getting your whatever done, or he's just nitpicking, then you can just look, make sure he's not around, and then quick, hurry, get into it and open it and start playing your movie like really fast and then because if your boss is isn't looking you want to have something they be, can be able to get into really fast to calm yourself and relax 
while he's not looking, so. So yeah, and there you have it. That's some of the different media play movie players on Linux and how they work and their problems and their good things about them. But now that's just my opinion. I'd love to hear what your opinion is though on the different media players on Linux. Bit of a newsflash, we are now at 99 subscribers, which is pretty awesome. I can't wait to see when we get to 100. I remember when we, back six months when we were so excited that we had our first subscribers. Really awesome. And now that we've gotten so far, we it couldn't have been done without you guys out there. So, um, we also really enjoy hearing all your awesome feedback and what your opinions are. And thank you for all of the likes that we've gotten from you guys out there. It has really encouraged us in some of our hard times when we've when it's been pretty hard to get out another video and to record, like when we've been tired or or having computer problems and stuff. And I'll see you next time with more tech tips.